How's it going, guys? Lucian Sword here, and we're going to continue our Sekiro playthrough. Oh, hi. Didn't even see you there, bro. What's up? So you saw that uh, big red dot that appeared when I assassinated him. If you hit R1 again when you see that, it's going to spend a lot of spirit emblems, and it's going to do whatever your ninjutsu is. Uh, this case, it uses six spirit emblems, which is a lot. Um, honestly, this should only cost like two or three, in my opinion, but whatever. All right, so we're going to attempt to do something crazy here. Um, something I don't normally really do in these type of games, but... Uh, and that that is, we're going to kind of fast track a little bit. We're going to try to get some skills that you normally don't have access to kind of to later in the game, or, or rather you normally don't go for these type of skills until later in the game. And so how we're going to get there is you're going to come to this idol, which is the anti antechamber idol. Ashina Castle antechamber. And then you're going to jump down here. Which is pretty much what we did at the start of the last episode, except um, this time we're actually going to get the idol that's up here. Oops. I thought I had a... Oh my gosh, I'm trying to press start and it won't go. Whirlwind Slash. So I thought I had... Much more useful for fighting multiple enemies. Alright. Um, so if you haven't already grabbed the Sabimaru, go ahead and grab that. And then uh, we're going to actually come down here and open this up. A little shortcut path. I don't know if we're going to use it too often, but it's good to have. Let's go ahead and... Hi. Good thing we already killed the uh, general guy that is normally right there. Are they going to chase me in here? Oh, nice. I got black gunpowder from that dude. Are you just going to stand out there and shoot? Yeah, never mind, dudes. You, you, you do that. Oh. That was strange, dude. Did you guys see that? I thought they came back to life, and then they just dropped dead again. So anyways, um, go ahead and follow the path out here now. Um, this place is... Uh, those are not goldfish. Those are enemy fish. However, later on when we can actually dive into the water, I believe there probably is goldfish over there. Now, we got to be careful because there's some strong enemies up here. Especially the dude holding the spear. He's really strong. If we can backstab him, that would be awesome. And then you can see right behind him, we actually uh, can see a bonfire. Nice, we got him. Oh wow, we got a heavy coin purse from that dude. I'm pretty sure that guy, the... Uh, we can actually grapple up there, but I don't think there's anything up there. Uh, yeah, that guy actually killed me last video, so revenge kill. Feels good, man. All right, let's grab the old grave idol here real quick. And I guess we can rest. Let's go ahead and grab this item. From the old grave idol, actually, that's a really good item. From the Old Grave Idol, there's a lot of routes that you can take. Um, one thing that we probably should do, though, first is we're going to jump down onto the roof right below it and into this hole in the roof because there's a dude in here that's actually a shopkeeper. And he sells you an important skill. Well, kind of important. It's optional, but it's powerful. So once he's done yapping uh, right here, the anti-air death blow text. Uh, I got to say in walkthroughs that I've read online, they call this move extremely powerful. However, in my personal playthrough, I'd never really used it. But basically, uh, if somebody's jumping around in the air, which is typically only bosses, uh, you can actually kill them. So I don't know, man. The only other enemies I know jump around in the air are like on the t on the rooftops of Ashina Castle, but I'm probably not 
thinking clearly. There probably is more enemies that jump around, but if you have the money to buy this, go ahead and buy it. It's a good ability. Um, other than that, though, I don't think I'm actually going to buy anything, and he won't sell. I can't sell to him, but I just wanted to show you guys that ability. Uh, so after that, let's just grab, grab these items. I got the attention of the locals, but that's okay. I don't really care. Just don't get blown up by the cannon, that's all. Oh. Okay, okay, we'll kill the cannon guy. Oh my, I think he killed himself. The cannon guy does respawn, unfortunately. But we're gonna kill them all anyways. Dude with the pot is still banging his pot, I think. Just die, please. Thank you. Now, how do I get back up there? Okay. Now we can grab this item. Dude in the tower up there is just going crazy trying to kill me. Alright, I'm actually gonna go back to the last uh, idol. Should calm him down and all right so basically now that we have the old grave idol what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to run all the way to senpao temple to get the temple arts uh which are a new skill tree for uh fighting skills so like when when we go to uh skills we'll have shinobi arts prosthetic arts ashina arts and then we'll have temple arts so yeah, uh, even more moves to spend our skill points on, which we don't really have any skill points, but that's all good. We're going to have to do these at some point anyways, so I guess we can just go ahead and do them. Alright, let's go ahead and warp to the very first Ashina Castle idol. And uh, basically, we're going to try to go to the abandoned dungeon entrance, and then we're going to try to book it all the way to Senpao Temple. Um, which is actually the next uh, area that you need to go, basically, if you're following the story. However, you could go to Sunken Depths. You could go... Uh, there's some mini-bosses in the uh, Ashina Reservoir area. We're going to cover all of that after this. So basically from here, you're going to uh, see this... I see an item up there, man. I want to get that item really badly. I'm not sure how you get that yet. Anyways. Um, so go ahead and jump and try to grapple this branch over here. Just like so. Let's eavesdrop on these guys. He's talking about how the armor can come off, but that's if you get the uh, spear thing, which can rip armor off. Hi. So, killing that guy was actually important because he drops the uh, key that will lead us to that spear, which is actually useful, uh, especially, okay, this guy's annoying, you don't have to kill him, you could actually just run by him if you wanted, I wonder if I can do a leaping, like, kill, a leap, a, a, a jumping kill, not quite. 
I'm actually just gonna grab this and run right by him because he's risky to kill and the idol's right here. So if you really wanna kill him, just go ahead and grab the idol first and then you can just backstab him. So now that we have the abandoned dungeon, if you, if you wanna go kill this dude, check this out. Just be careful of the dogs. Uh, the dogs will definitely bark. Okay, yep, yeah, nope, never mind, yep, yeah, nope. So I would just kill the dogs first with the uh, shuriken. Are you kidding me? Did he just hit the dog with the bell? <laughs> Let's rest. All right, so from here, uh, there's a shopkeeper right here, by the way. Let's see what he has. Uh, he does sell something important, which is the mask fragment. So, and a prayer bead, actually. I need one more prayer bead. Let's sell. I'm gonna sell my bulging coin purse. That should be enough for the prayer bead. Um, I don't think I have enough for the mask fragments yet. I don't need the mask fragments yet. Like, you can't get the final mask fragment until, like, the end of the game anyways. So you, if you don't want to spend your money on this right now... Basically, what the completed mask does is... There's one fragment here. There's one back in Harada Estate. And there's one at Fountainhead Palace, which is the last uh, place that you go before you beat the game. Um... Once you have the complete mask, you can purchase attack power levels with five skill points. So theoretically, there's like no cap to your attack power, which is pretty insane. But the problem is, by the time you get to Fountainhead Palace, you're already like godly. So you don't really need more attack power because you've already pretty much beaten everybody. Furthermore, um, you take longer to level up so i'm gonna do this to get our fourth or sorry third prayer necklace heck yeah that helps out a lot um but yeah you, it takes a lot longer to level like the higher you get plus like i said by that point you don't really need it but it's still cool to have once you once you buy every single skill then the only thing left to buy is attack power all right, we're going to come down here. Um, there's a lot of crickets. You don't really need to fight any of this stuff if you don't want to, but... Go ahead and grab the pacifying agent. I'm just going to grab all the stuff that I see. Go ahead and talk to this guy. He puts you on a quest. So we'll be able to do that as well a little bit later. Uh, let's keep going. These guys will grab you, so just be careful. Oh, look at that. Look how close he was. And they do respawn, which is really annoying as well. I think they only respawn twice. So just be careful. Alright, let's keep on going. And grab this idol right over here. underground waterway right there i don't remember there I, I know i'm kind of rushing through this place but that's kind of the whole point i want to go back here and grab these items i know that are right here real quick just an oil and an oil no big deal but i don't like leaving items you guys know this uh yes you can get uh behind there but you actually need the dive ability you need to be able to swim you don't get that till quite a bit later so anyways from uh the underground water Oh god, I didn't mean to fall right there. Alright, let's grab the scrap iron. And we're gonna swim across, swim across. Take out these dudes. 
Easy enough. More items. 100 gold. Upgrade material. Alright. And let's continue along the waterway. Take out the uh, dude with the gun first. We're almost to Senpao Temple. Believe it or not, I know, right? We're like in the middle of a dungeon. Like underground, cave, deep underground. One thing I do miss from Bloodborne and Dark Souls is the torch. I kind of like having a torch to light our way, but anyways, go ahead and pull the lever. It'll summon the elevator, and we can get out of this really creepy dungeon area and into a completely different, beautiful area of the game. Alright. And I believe this is Buddha talking to us. We can actually... Talk to the Buddha tapestry right there. Let's grab the idol. So basically, the uh, the the monks that are in the Senpao Temple, they used to be monks of Buddha, but now they basically are corrupted monks. And ha, that's actually a boss, the corrupted monk. But uh, they they lost their way. They they worship immortality and stuff like that now. So. Go ahead and rest. We're gonna, from here... I see you've decided to continue. We will pray for your safety. It's the least we can do. Alright, so here's the beautiful area, I promise. Yeah, pretty awesome. So, what we're going to try to do is basically run all the way up there and skip all the guys. Um, which means we're probably also going to be skipping most of the loot. Okay. Just saying right now. But, we'll come back through this area and go through it like normal uh, later on. I just want to get the temple arts early just so we can start investing in them early. Because that's something I did not do in my first playthrough that I kind of wish I had. So there's a lot of dudes here. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of sneak by as many as I can and avoid them. The monks are pretty easy. The ones you want to watch out for are the ones that have the staff like that dude. Uh, they're actually quite a bit harder to kill. Alright, I'm just going to run straight by these dudes, to be honest. They won't even see me if I'm ninja enough. If you do get spotted, I suggest just running towards the temple, and you want to grapple right up into the rafters up here. They did not even notice me, dude. How awesome is that? Drop for the crickets. Stupid crickets. Yeah, they actually give 15 experience each. Actually, not, not terrible. Alright. Alright, now with these guys, you want to be really careful. First thing we want to do is take out this guy. And then, very carefully, you want to take out... these three guys but you don't want to get too close to this big guy a 
That's okay. We'll fight these guys. They're not hard. Oh, I did not want to get the attention of the really big dude, though, so I'm going to run away. Hopefully he will not chase us. Last time I did this, he did not uh, get attention, so... Do you think they'll find me right here? I bet you they'll reset. Go away. You saw nothing. Go back to sleep. Okay, one went back which means the other one should be any second. Be careful if you do get spotted and you're trying to go back like this, because sometimes they walk backwards <laughs> to where they're going. They keep facing you. Oh god, he's actually coming closer. What if I sneak all the way over here, dude? Alright, so that's fine that he's walking all the way over here because I bet you he's going to turn around and then we can just go up right up here and backstab him. Oh, look how creepy. He was looking right at me. I probably could just beat him straight up if I fought him, but I like stealth kills. So much easier. Less noisy, too. As soon as he turns around, dude, I'm going to backstab him. If he turns around. Are you kidding me? He's walking backwards. He's walking backwards. Okay, the music changed, but yet yeah, he's he's still walking backwards. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Let's do it. Got him. And I got a level. Sweet. Alright, so he was actually the second toughest person in the room. The first toughest is the dude that the dude's looking at. You don't want to fight that dude who's right in front of the uh, item right there. You want to backstab him because if you if you wake him up, you can kill him as many times as you want. I'm pretty sure he'll just keep respawning. So sneak very carefully behind him. Normally you can sneak and kill the big fat dude that's back here too, but I messed that up. Yes. So now we can just very carefully backstab. Grab the gourd seed. Very nice. Just go ahead and jump out here. Did I just get uh attention of something? Alright guys, we're 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 pretty close. We're pretty close. We got a little bit further to go. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of uh running through the zone, skipping a lot of items in this video just because let's go ahead and grab these. Later on when you get the uh ninjutsu, puppeteer ninjutsu, you can uh you can take over enemies basically for a short time, and one of the enemies that you take over is right down there with the kite. I don't know if you can see him. He's down, He's to the left of the screen. Actually, you can't see him, but you can see the kite mechanism. And he'll fly the kite up here after you ninjutsu him, and then you can grapple across and get to that area, which leads you to a place where you can get the dried serpent viscera. Or the fresh, I don't remember. Maybe it's the dried or the... I don't know, it's one of those. Alright, so we want to go... Where do we... We want to go up. Up there, I believe. I don't think we want to go in that temple. That temple right there, if I'm remembering right, it's a different boss. Different kind of mini boss. Ah, 
Hi. We want to grapple to the tree. Oh my god, I didn't do it right. I didn't try to jump off there. I was trying to grapple the tree, but I, instead I just ran off. That's the tree you want. Oh god. I need to go back up. It's okay, you guys can come down here. I don't care. Come down, come down. Alright, right here. There we go. Grapple this tree. Come on up. They're gonna forget they ever saw me. And boom. Another sculptor idol. Shigendo. Only one more to go, guys. One more and we're at our destination of where I wanted to go. Um, Alright, let's jump down here. Whoa. Another shopkeeper here. Anything good, dude? You got anything good? Not really. Not really. Not really. Anytime you can buy light uh, coin purse, you should probably do it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Buy a couple of those. Alright guys, we are very close. We're gonna drop down. A lot of monks in this area. Um, a lot of items and loot in this area as well. Oh shoot, this is the area that we just... My bad. Don't drop down. Go back up. Okay, my bad. We don't want to... I, I don't know why I thought we had to go down there, but that's actually, like, the way back. We want to go up, 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 up to the temple. Um, there's going to be a lot of dudes with uh, guns shooting at you. Just FYI. guys are very annoying to kill, but if you can flame them, it seems to do pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna have to go up, 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 so... Keep making your way up the path here. You don't have to kill these guys, by the way. If you don't want to, you can just try to run by them all. That works, too. This guy, I tend to just try to jump over. Bye! <laughs> And go ahead, sorry about that, go ahead and come up here. So, where we want to go, we're about to fight a strong guy too. Um, I forgot about this dude. I think we have to fight him too. Uh, that's the demon bell, by the way. There's a idol literally right up there. Actually, I think there might be some items over here. Come on, come on, there we go. Let's grab the uh, pinwheel item up here. Yeah, you can see the uh, the idol right there. That's where you get the demon bell. We did that a couple episodes ago. So the the guy in here, do we have to kill this guy? I bet you we do. He's not too hard. Um, you just have to counter his attacks and you have to hit him off the edge. I really hope I could beat him first try. Don't really want to fight him again. Um, just Just focus on parrying. Let's see. Uh, no, we do have to kill him. Uh, 
want to bring him back in here because you want to push him off the cliff. Almost got him. No, you want to push him off the cliff. Alright, let's keep him... Still can't get him off that cliff. How about this side? <laughs> Finally got him. Took three tries. Yeah, you just want to kick him off the cliff, basically. Then we can go through here. This is the one that I wanted to get. Ooh, nice. A prayer bead and a, a skill. Latent skill that recovers posture upon a successful death blow. Nice. Forgot you got the skill from him. Okay. Now it'll let us go by. Whew. We are really close. This is not the idol that we want, actually. My bad. The one that we want is very, very close. It's in that temple right up ahead, though, I believe. And like I said, I know we're skipping a lot of stuff, but we will come back to this area and do it proper later. And we won't have to mess with uh, that dude anymore. Um, so that's cool. You saw nothing, doggies. Because there's some mini bosses. And a ton of other stuff in this area. Alright, we're just going to run by all these dudes. Just run by them. I know it sounds crazy. Just trust me. Grab this, jump inside. Hi guys. Go ahead and grab that. Woo! What's up, homies? This is actually not the area where I want to be. Not the area, not the area. Getting out, getting out. Oh god. Almost died. Trying to find the area. It's pretty close. Maybe it's up top. Yeah, it's up top. We gotta go even higher, dudes. Let's keep going up. A lot of stuff that I'm skipping, I know. It's okay. We'll be okay. We'll come do this stuff later. Peace, homies. Go up, 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 up. Up, up, up. Hi, bye. Hi. Peace. If this is too crazy for you guys, uh, you don't have to do this. Just FYI. You definitely don't have to do this. It's all optional. If you want the temple arts, though, you do have to do it. Run by these dudes. We are so close. Come around in here. We're going to grab the idol. Right here. Got it. And rest. Rest as fast as you can. <laughs> I'm so happy we actually did it. I didn't know if we were going to be able to do this this video. This is the idol that you want. The main hall idol. Okay. Um, go ahead and grab this. This is actually something important that you need for the main quest. Um, you need the bell to do the divine incense right thing, I think. And uh, so, yep, that's cool. But this is not why we came here. 
It's just uh, something that you need to do. If you uh, can't pick up the bell and there's like an old man in the way, uh, that's because you need to go kill Genichiro first, I'm pretty sure. After you kill Genichiro, then you can go there and uh, ring the bell. Oh, snap. Actually, this isn't what I think it is, is it? It is. Okay, well, I was not planning on doing that. Sorry. This is actually a boss fight. I totally forgot. Okay, well, I guess we're doing the uh, the four monkeys. I've already done this before, so... Wow. Okay, that's alright. This will increase our attack power, so this is actually pretty awesome. So this, the monkeys are kind of like the see no evil, hear no evil, and whatever else the other one is, I don't remember. Be no evil, see no, touch no, feel no, I don't remember. So there's four main monkeys you gotta kill. Um, go ahead and put that elusive hall bell to one of your hotkeys, because you're gonna need it at least once. Uh, turn around, and there should be a monkey really close around here that you can kill. Pretty much right away. Where are you? I know you're here. There he is. He's the invisible one. So we already got one down. All right. Let's follow this guy. He jumped way up there. And he's right there, so go ahead and ring the bell. Which will stun him. And then you can go up here and kill him real quick. Yeah, that's really funny. I really was not trying to do this boss battle. I, I totally forgot that's what it was. Alright, so we want to follow that dude that just jumped across. Monkeys will spawn, but you don't really have to fight them. You can just kind of... I want to get you, I want to get you. Got him. Every time one of the main monkeys sees you, um, they'll spawn a couple of these little monkeys. Phantoms. Alright, so there's actually only one left already. And I might have to reset them with the bell to get him to appear properly. Let's see. Where I need to go is up here, but I don't know if he's up here yet. Or actually, no, it's over here. All right, cool. I think he saw me, so let's go in here. Yeah, he saw me, so go ahead and jump down here. What you're gonna do is go ahead and open the doors. Oh, hi. That'll let in the air. Okay, hi. Hi. What's What are your guys' names? Dead monkey? That's, that's interesting. Oh my god, what the? They inflict terror? That's insane. Oh my god. I did not know they inflict terror. That's actually terrifying, so... Don't let that kill you. Can just throw these at them. So basically now we're gonna have to go to the beginning again and that will reset the monkey. Actually there he is. Let's see if I can scare him back. We just need to scare him back to that area again. Oh where'd he jump? Where'd he jump? I didn't catch that. Was it up here? But basically that's where we want to scare him. Maybe he went in the room with the waterfall. That also works to uh, to kill him, I, I believe. Nah, he's not in here. 
This is the one that can see really good, but he can't hear good, so we need to kill him in that room. Yeah, let's go ahead and reset the monkeys. It'll also send me back to the spawn, or the entrance, rather. Alright, so where is this guy? Maybe he'll just be up there. Let's take the same route I did last time. Yep, he is. Awesome. So now we can do a death blow, and that's pretty much the, the boss fight. Oh, come on. I want to lock onto him. There we go. Guess you don't need to lock on. Just jump down. And that is it, dudes. Really easy boss fight, if you can even call that boss fight. It's more like a puzzle. It's creative and fun, though. I really wasn't planning on doing this. Uh, hopefully the video is not too, too long. Uh, but pretty, pretty great for getting this out of the way, at least. Because now we have more attack power, which is going to make everything so much easier when we actually do go through this area. This, uh, this is called the folding screen monkeys. And I believe we also get the puppeteer ninjutsu from these guys. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we do, which is really useful as well. So it's actually pretty good to go do this like right away, if you can, like I'm doing. A lot of good things happen. So basically, right after you kill Genichiro, if you can just rush to this main hall area, um, not only can you do the folding screen monkeys, which is really easy, uh, there's some mini-bosses that we passed that are also pretty easy. Alright, sweet. We got that. We got the puppet puppeteer ninjutsu. Amazing. We also leveled up twice. Also amazing. Uh... This is actually uh, another cutscene that's really cool. Um, dang. All right, since we're right here, let's go ahead and do this. This is actually where you get the mortal blade, ladies and gentlemen. Mortal blade. She's like, you still want to draw this even though it's killed everyone who is, who's ever drawn it? And you're like, yeah, I do. She's like, okay, if you want to, go for it. She's like, I'm gonna have to get rid of another corpse, dang it. You're like, lady, you have no idea. Not only can I draw it. Instantly killed. Why don't they... Why don't they, like, fear death, basically, is what she's saying. Lady, like I said... I'm of the dragon lineage. I have resurrection powers. The curse of the dragon's heritage. Oh, I accept its power. Look how freaking badass that is. Mortal Blade. An Odachi capable of slaying the undying. Its crimson blade will take the life of any who draw dares draw it. Without the power of resurrection, one could not hope to wield this weapon, which allows one to defeat even infested beings. Long concealed within Senpao Temple, the blade is inscribed with its true name, Gracious Gift of Tears. So now you can see on my back I do have the Mortal Blade, and that will also give me a new combat art, the Mortal Draw, which looks like this. I know, it's amazing, right? 
It does use spirit emblems though, so just be careful of that. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the Halls of Illusion, shall we? Oh, actually, my bad. This is not where we want to go. Whoopsie doopsie. Um, let's go back to the... Uh, it doesn't really matter. Just go back to the main hall idol. Um, I don't think that's the last idol I rested at, but whatever. So, wow. Alright, so we got the mortal blade, we got the folding screen monkeys done, we got increased attack power, we got the mort mortal blade, I already said that, right? Uh, we got the puppeteer ninjutsu, let's enhance our attack power. The halls of illusion lie on the threshold betwixt life and death. Departed souls of the divine children drift and sway, taking shelter in the monkeys of the temple. Such is the way the divine child of rejuvenation speaks of them as friends. Sick. So we have five attack power. Extremely useful. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and head to main hall. Wasn't trying to do any of that extra stuff with the boss and the mortal blade, but hey, you know, when it's right in front of you, it's hard to resist. But I promise this next item is very close by, so... Basically, um, what you're going to want to do is ignore all the dudes on the ground. I know you want to take the items. All right, let's take the items. Screw it. Too hard to resist. Ah! All right, we got it. So run out of here the way we came in, which is right over here. Run straight in these doors right here. There's going to be one monk down here. And there's going to be a couple of these guys. If you jump and hit R1, you can kill them one shot. Otherwise, you can kill them pretty easily, no matter what. They do like to throw fire down, so just be careful of that. Go ahead and drop down. Do a 180, which means turn around. And we're going to crawl under here this is the pathway to get the temple arts kind of secretive I actually missed these on my first playthrough my friend uh, Zacharion was able to find these showed me where it was so if you're watching this thank you Zacharion go ahead and kill all these dudes and we're gonna grapple up grapple up And here we are. So he was actually uh, thinking that if you kill Genichiro, you can't get these temple arts. But that's actually not the case. You can, whether you kill Genichiro or not. Um, in fact, you can access this area before you kill Genichiro. You just won't be able to uh, ring the bell like I did to go to the folding screen monkeys. All right. Boom. Senpao, Esoteric's text. Alright, that's what I wanted. Let's go back to Dilapidated Temple now. Back to our home. Uh, so, believe it or not, now that we have the uh, Puppeteer Ninjutsu, we can actually kill the giant white snake. Yes, kill the giant white snake. Um, maybe we'll do that next episode. I don't know. We're like kind of jumping ahead a lot, but it would be pretty freaking awesome to do that um whew. all right guys so check it out let's go ahead and acquire skills now we have temple arts temple arts we just killed genichiro and we already have temple art skills i'm actually going to go ahead and get the praying strikes for right now because i can um ver oops let's take a look at these next two that we can see so this one actually improves the sen obtained and improves item drop rates. That is insane. So you can see how awesome these skills are. Uh, the rest of them are pretty unique as well. They basically have more hand, uh, you know, like more like hand-to-hand -hand martial arts uh, abilities. We, we unfortunately can't see the next ones, but so yeah, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of long, kind of crazy. Um, we, we skipped a lot of stuff, but no, no worries. We're going to go back and get all that as well. <laughs> this is the guy that will sell you information, I believe. Or maybe not. Yeah, well, I guess he does give you a, a map of everything. Um, 2000 for a gourd seed? Dang, he's expensive, but you know what? Let's go ahead and buy it. Guess I didn't need that many, but... So now we have two gourd seeds, actually, because I forgot we uh, found another gourd seed at the shop in Senpao Temple, so... Wow, we did a lot this episode. We got two gourd seeds. Whoa, no. We gotta give them to Emma. Emma's not here. Emma is in Kiro's room. Two gourd seeds. We got the attack power memory, we got the mortal blade, we got puppeteer ninjutsu, and we got senpao temple arts. Oh my gosh, what a productive episode. In one hour, we got all of that. So basically, that's why I wanted to show you guys. Um, it was Zacharion's idea that I try to do this, but awesome, awesome path, because now the rest of the game is going to be so much easier. I didn't do this my first playthrough, and I wish I had. All right, let's give these to Emma. Alright, they're talking a little bit about this. Yes, 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 yes. Let's give her the gourd seed. Give her another gourd seed. Let's talk a little bit more. Alright. So now we have seven gourd uses. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We are going to rock the rest of this game. Alright guys, well please go ahead and absolutely slice that like button using your mortal blade. I want to go out here and use it again. It's so good. Bam! Bam! That's what I want you to do to that like button if you enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, obviously, if this is your first time watching for more Sekiro content. Dang, that's awesome. You actually can power up that up even further with the empowered mortal draw later on in the game. Anyways, guys, this is Lucian Sword. Hope you're enjoying the series. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.